Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, a genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to activate slash license remote desktop services in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with today's video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so we're on Windows Server 2025. Let me start by hitting my Windows key and I together to pull up my settings. And let's go to System Information in the About tab. And here we can see we have Windows Server 2025 standard. So this is the version. Let's go ahead and start with the tutorial. So in the Server Manager, let's go to Tools. The first thing we're gonna look for here is Remote Desktop Services. We wanna pull up the Licensing Manager. We can see our server here we can see our activation status. So in this case, we are activated. Let's go ahead and review under our configuration. Now, we have a few requisites that we need to meet before it'll allow us to activate with our remote desktop licenses. So the first one is to register as SCP. Okay, we just did that, so we'll click OK. Okay, and then also we need to add this to the terminal server group. We'll hit Continue. And as we can see, we just added this to the terminal server license service group in Active Directory Domain Services. Let's press OK. So our requisites have now been met. All right, guys, so once those requisites are met, we're gonna move on to the activation phase. Let's right click on our server and we're gonna click Activate Server. It's gonna pull up our activation server wizard. So let's go ahead and click through this. And we could do the automatic connection. However, I think it's easier if we just go with the web browser method. So we'll click that and we'll hit next. It's gonna prompt us to go to activate.microsoft.com. Once we're here, we're gonna leave this on activate a licensed server and let's press next. Here we're prompted for our product ID, which is what the wizard is giving us here. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. Let's go back to edge and we'll paste the product ID. We'll enter our company, which is Indigo Software. We'll change our region to the United States of America. We'll press next. And let's hit next one more time. And now we're gonna be given a server license ID. This is a unique code for us. Let's go ahead and copy that, Control C. I'll minimize edge again, and we're gonna paste that back into our license server activation wizard. We'll hit next. We can see now that the license server has been successfully activated. And to install licenses here, we can click next again. So we'll do that. All right, let's go back to edge and we'll click yes on this. It's gonna bring us to the next page. You can choose your licensing program here. Go ahead and pick something else if it is something different. Just a reminder, if you have yet to purchase remote desktop licenses, you can find our links in the description box below and we'll provide you with a key shortly after purchasing the product. Okay, we're good here. Let's go ahead and hit next again. This is where we're gonna enter our actual product key. So I'm gonna enter this here. We're gonna blur this on screen, but just know that I'm adding my license code here. All right, I finished pasting in my code and I'm gonna click add. Now, if you've done this correctly, and you make sure there's no typos, your product type should now show up right here. As we can see, Windows Server 2025 Remote Desktop Services per User Client Access License, otherwise known as CAL. We'll scroll down and let's hit Next. Okay, and then we can see that Remote Desktop Licensing is ready to process our request. Please confirm that the information you provided is correct, then click Next if you need to make corrections. So in this case, it's very important that we make sure there are no mistakes here. Make sure that your company, region, license codes, and license program are all correct and then let's hit next. All right, and we can see that our license was successfully processed. This is the final code that we now have to copy and bring back to our wizard over here. So copy that, we'll minimize this, and we'll paste it into this box. All right, so we'll hit next. And we can see that the requested licenses have been successfully activated. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything we covered, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. As our channel continues to grow, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any specific suggestions of your own, we'd love to hear what those are. Most commented viewer video requests get made into actual videos on our channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.